Hey everyone, this is Will, and in this video, I want to give you a quick review of this guy. This is the Looptimus from Loop Community, a great MIDI foot controller. Uh, Matt and the team over at Loop Community were kind enough to send me one uh, to review, to do a course on. I just wrapped up uh, recording our Using Looptimus with Ableton Live course. Um, and I've got to say, I really enjoy this pedal. I think it's a great MIDI controller uh, with some really cool features, uh, particularly for Ableton Live, that are great. So first, let's talk about a couple of the features that uh, I really like about this. So initially, let's see if I can move my mic out of the way here. Um, this pedal uh, has six different buttons that I can use, and I have 20 different banks that I can use to access uh, groups of six buttons each. Uh, so I can use previous up and down to navigate between these. I could go up uh, to go to 20 and access all of these, which is great. So each 20 of those banks and each of those six buttons on those 20 banks can be different MIDI notes, which uh, is awesome. But in addition to that, some things that Loop Community did that I think are really cool is we have this stop button up here. This stop button is the same uh, button and in, in any mode. And you could use it a, a couple different ways. Obviously, they've labeled it stop. I think that's a good idea. So not, no matter what mode you're in, you can uh, get access to that. It's always the same note. So you could hit it. It's going to stop. Uh, if you um, use kind of my approach to set up and use tracks, you could uh, uh, you know map it to repeat or previous locator, and it would be the same in every button. Um, it could be a play button if you want to. Whatever you want it to be, even though it's labeled stop, it could be anything. I think stop is good use for that. Um, but what's really nice about this again um, this is the same note no matter what bank I'm in so I'm on uh, bank two uh, and I'm on C here this is the same note all right let's go uh, to 20 I'm on 20 a this is the same note okay hopefully you get that hopefully you understand that the other thing I love though so 20 banks of six buttons each but they also have a all access mode and this is something I enjoyed on uh, my disaster air designs DMC 60 I believe this may have even been a um, uh, 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 ability foot controller uh, option that was on uh, that guy from way back in the day. But what's great about this is if I hold this down, you see I get this kind of interesting signal here. This is all access mode. So I get essentially a 21st bank that I get access to, and I can click any of these buttons to get out of it. But what's great is no matter what bank I'm in, let's go to 18B. If I really quickly want to get access to this mode, I hold next. That puts me in all access, and I'm there. And then again, I can hit previous to go back to where I was uh, or next to jump down or whatever order you want to. All access mode is really great. That's where I often, uh, when I was using uh, a foot controller similar to this, um, and, and if I were to set up loop to this on my rig right now, I would probably put play, stop, previous locator, next locator, because I really only use four buttons. Um, I would assign those uh, in all access so I have access to all of it. I may make stop, uh, I'd have to really think about this, I may make the stop button stop as well too, you know, that functions really well. Um, but I, I'm, I'm going farther uh, and deeper into this than I should have. I love the Lutimus, a lot of stuff here. A couple other things I want to show you. Um, so we have this 20 banks of six each. We have our all access mode, which is uh, which is awesome. We can navigate our banks doing uh, previous and next. We hold next to get all access. If we hold this MIDI channel button here, we can decide what MIDI channel our, our controller transmits on uh, anywhere from uh, uh, of our 16 channels. So I can hit previous here. We go 16, you know, what channel do we want this on? This is a super important feature, particularly if you're using my template, uh, my IEC driver thing where the IEC driver is mapped to the stop button. You've got to make sure that um, uh, your clip matches your controller. So to change your controller to figure out what MIDI channel you want this on, you can go through and select that. Uh, and then once you get it, you hit stop to get out of it, which is great. So I can select that as well too. Uh, final thing that I love about Loop Disk, well, let me show you on the back too, some of our uh, options here. So I'm connected via USB to my computer. I also have five pin MIDI. If you're using five pin, most likely every device I've connected to, you've got to use power. This just uses a standard nine volt. Uh, power adapter, so um, like a guitar pedal or something, you'll be able to plug that in, uh, and that should work great for you. And then you can also use a loop to as many or an expression pedal. I don't have a loop to as many, let's see if I can get that in focus instead of my mic stand. Uh, I don't have a loop to as many or an expression pedal, but um, you have the option to expand that as well, too. And adding loop to as many can do some really cool things. Final thing I want to show you and talk about on this pedal um, we talked about everything so far. When I hold down stop, uh, hold down for at least three seconds. Keep going. There we go. You'll see there's actually three different modes that this pedal operates in. Default, which means these send MIDI notes. And those MIDI notes come out of both USB and our 5-pin connection there at the same time. Uh, I can use previous to go to uh, our next one here. We have pad mode. 
Pad mode is going to send the same thing uh, out, out of both of these, but what it's going to do is it's essentially going to allow me to play pads with my feet. So if I press one, this is going to play, uh, you know, the, the key I'm in, the one chord, the root, uh, two is a two chord, three, four, you know, so on and so forth. That's a cool feature. Uh, and then PC is program change. And so what program change does is it's going to send, and this is interesting. I have to dig into this to kind of understand it, but hopefully this makes sense to you. This is going to send MIDI notes and program changes at the same time. And here's a couple points of clarity. When I heard that at first, I thought, oh, it just sends program changes. No, no, no. It sends MIDI notes and program changes. Here's a couple points to remember. When I'm in this mode, so let's, uh, we selected this, let's hit stop to get out of it. In program change mode, both things are going to transmit out of both outputs at the same time. So both MIDI notes and program changes. What's nice about this is I thought, well, that's going to be a problem uh, because Ableton doesn't respond to program changes. But again, it's going to see both program changes and MIDI notes. Let me take you over to Ableton. If I go to MIDI map mode here, and let's say I want to map uh, this, this play button here. So I'm going to just click this and I'm going to map that. All Ableton sees is note G7, and the reason it only sees that is Ableton cannot interpret program change messages, but I'll show you to prove that I'm not a liar. Let's go back to uh, uh, my computer here. We'll go to MIDI monitor. I'll press that same button, and you'll notice it's sending program, uh, this program change message, uh, program change 115, and it's sending a MIDI note message on and off as well. And that works because Ableton can't see the program change message. It essentially ignores it. It doesn't respond to it. Uh, so it will see the MIDI notes. And then what that means, again, as a point of clarification, this confused me. Um, it's going to send the same types of information here. You could use this for Ableton. It's going to send program change. Ableton's going to ignore it. Sorry, this is going out of focus. It's driving me crazy. And then 5-pin can be connected to a guitar pedal. Uh, and that's going to send both program change and notes as well, too but your guitar pedal is likely going to ignore notes and just accept program change. So there's a scenario where you could use this pedal with uh, Ableton Live, and then you could use it with a guitar pedal to send uh, program changes as well too. And what's cool about this, when I'm in program change mode, which I am, I can hold this button and it's going to show me what program change message is going to be sent here. And then I can just change this to whatever it is. I think it was 114. Hopefully I remember. We'll go back and double check at the end. And then I just let go and that message is programmed in. So if you're looking for a MIDI controller for Ableton Live, if you're treating a lot of things, this is 20 banks of six. I'm not doing that much with it. Um, uh, I probably would just likely keep this in all access mode most of the time. But you could, uh, you know, assign all your locators. You could choose uh, to trigger key sounds, all sorts of different things. Um, if you're doing particular live looping setup in session view where you're looping a section, you know, for an infinite amount of times and moving to the next one or recording parts and stacking it, Looptimus is a great solution. It's well built. It's got five pin DIN uh, and USB MIDI. It's got three different pad modes, which I love. You could expand it with a loop to this MIDI uh, with an expression pedal. So, so much uh, really cool stuff happening here. So great job to the folks at Loop Community. Great pedal. I'm really uh, loving it. Uh, like I mentioned, I just recorded our loop to this course. Uh, I don't know if it'll be out by the time this video um, goes live. In fact, I don't think it will, but I'll link to it regardless. And then once it's live, then you'll see the content there and you can register and, and see that course. But uh, Matt, uh, Derek, the rest of the team over at LC, great job on this. Uh, great pedal. If you're looking for a great MIDI, uh, really simple to use MIDI controller, uh, you just basically plug it in and MIDI map and enable to live. And there's even cooler integration if you're using their Prime app. And this works with anything that accepts MIDI, main stage, playback, Ableton Live, any version of Ableton Live you name it. So Looptimus is a great pedal. I really like it. I think you're going to like it. If you want to go deeper, check out our using Looptimus with Ableton Live course. Again, I'll link that in the description of the video and I'll also link to uh, a link to purchase this over at the Loop Community site. Thanks so much for watching this one. Um, oh, by the way, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I post a new video every single day, 10 a.m. Central, gear, tracks, uh, all sorts of things. You're going to love it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.